I took the fight just because I really wanted to do it. I had my eyes set on fighting back years ago, and then just because of work and just life and everything pushed it out, of, pushed, pushed it out of the way, and I got into other things. And still, just always wanted to do it, and always wanted to do it. And then the show was coming to town, and I just called the promoter and was like, "Put me on the card." You know? My style is basically just um, I got sprawl and brawl. I uh, stand up. I got really good kicks that I've been working on. My low kick is. Pretty nasty. I'm a southpaw, so that's uh, always throwing people off. So I don't think that uh, I think I'm I got a good enough defense in the guard to, to hold anybody down. Now making his way to the cage tonight, he will be fighting out of the red corner, Kane the Musket. My sophomore year in uh, college. You know, just wrestling, I wanted to do that, and my coaches told me just get done with the season. You know, then after that, we'll talk about it, you know. And then he, yeah, he pretty much hooked me up with, uh, with AKA, you know, the place I'm playing at now. I'm confident of um, uh, my striking ability, too, so, I mean, take it to the ground or keep it, you know, on your feet, whatever. I'll, I'll do both. Fight everybody and beat everybody. Be, be the best. Uh, that's, all, that, that's all I want to be. Tail of the team. Three, five in the round for these heavyweights. Kujarsik, the taller fighter. Velasquez making his pro debut with the weight advantage. Jesse fighting for the fifth time as a pro. Can he counter the wrestling skills of Cain Velasquez? The referee for this bout, Marcos Rosales. Velasquez with an impeccable wrestling background. Back-to-back Pac-10 titles. Last year, NCAA. Finished fourth nationally, but now he's going to find out that things are different when you got a guy punching you. The wrestler in the Ronin, I see this going to the ground, big ground and pound, and I hate to say it, but I think uh, I think the Ronin's about to get mashed. Ronin does present the challenge being a southpaw, kicks and throws left, but also likes to leave with his right leg, and you know the game plan for Kane, get it right to the mat, and he does so successfully. He's got a beautiful double under. He's already past the guard. He's sliding up on his head, and I see him pushing that hand down. That's an advanced beat-down concept right there. Fujarsic has tattoos on his back in Latin that read faith and hope. He may need both in this bout. He may need both and some headgear. Kane showing what he can do, throwing punches as well. Stuck in a couple short left jabs and does so once more. And I talk about him pinning that arm down. Look how he's putting his left knee on that arm. He's holding it down, exposing his head, and just pummeling away. And this is how I see this whole fight going right here. The tempo from Jump Street, a flurry of activity with those left hands. And I don't think Kane, I don't think the Roman knows how to get out of this. I don't think he can get him off. He's trying to sneak his way out, but there's no answer with two minutes left in this round. It is all Kane Velasquez. The Ronin is hurting. He is just eating left hands. Well, the Ronin does have success. You'll recall in the fight the night you had 18,000 people rooting for you in San Jose. He took on Daniel Pewter, had him in trouble before Pewter picked up the win, but an entirely different scenario tonight. It is all the MMA rookie Velasquez. Well, last time he rocked Pewter, he controlled him, but this is a different story. The Ronin is being whooped. Now we see the right hands being delivered by Velasquez, but clearly comfortable with the left as well. Well, brilliant tactician. He's just keeping his weight on him and staying right inside that distance the whole time. Ronan's got nowhere to go. Where's he going to go? And he's and here he goes. Up. He down. He's down. Right to the canvas. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And that's it. A sparkling pro debut for Kay Velasquez. First round of TKO. Devastating performance. Devastating. We never did see what the Ronan had to offer. Pick that nickname because... In medieval Japan, it was a samurai without a master. The master in this fight, Kay Velasquez. Well, he didn't hit him hard, but he hit him a lot. Total control and domination. And look at Velasquez behind him. Hip control, leg sweep. That is strong wrestling right there. Not only the throw, but those right hands. He looks like he has big things in front of him in mixed martial arts. The details once more, Dave Campbell. All right, fans, we have a stoppage at 158 of the first round. Your winner, via TV.